He'll hit you with the scissors. Yeah, he'll, he'll Reggie, if you're watching, I'm coming for you. Yeah. I just don't even do it to him anymore. So we're going to Smashville here in Losers Finals. We got DM fighting against Ling Ling. Ling Ling staying in the hot seat. We got, yeah. uh, you know, this is the last uh, Massachusetts player we got going on here in New England, DM. Yeah, and winner this has a date with Gons in From uh, New Jersey. So this is, this is pretty much just, uh, honestly, this is like New England trying to decide who's going to be the one to fight off against uh, New Jersey for like grand finals. Who's better, you know? That's exactly right, actually. Yup. Look at that. So, like I said, uh, or like we said earlier, uh, earlier in winners, it was a 3 1 uh, on the part of uh, of DM. So let's see if he can carry that momentum from winners' finals and into here uh, you know, into this match. Okay, so here we go. DM automatically getting that quick attack back into the stage. He'll pop him up a little bit. They're both trying to uh, feel each other out again, but gets the up smash to try to pop him up into the bracket. Again, good. It's Ooh. nuts because, like you said previously, uh, DM has beat Ling Ling in winter semi. So they're off here facing again. Let's see if Ling Ling has live and learned. Try to like, bring this in, but apparently, you know, get caught that down air into the up smash. What DM thrives in this matchup is just keeping him airborne as much as possible. Yeah, he's really good at hitting the blind spots of Peach and like keeping his up in position and not get punished. Like I said, things like back air, using the very low profile of Pikachu and all those very strong moves. The Pikachu has the anti-air uh, Peach. You know, Peach doesn't have the, the easiest time killing anymore, but Pikachu doesn't. So, you know, it's a whole lot of factors to take into this. DM going with the quick, quick attacks, the up Bs again and again. Drags him down. Gonna get the, the, the hard spot of it. Be able to send him flying. 165% on Lingling. Ling. Ling. Just, literally just one neutral air and up smash away. Potentially a back throw, a back air. Something needs to be done. Ooh, gets the grab, goes for the up throw, but they're not going to do anything except just reset the situation. I like that spacey from Lingling. You saw him go for the forward air from as far away as possible. And both these players are living for so long. Wow. Okay, he's out of jumps. Quick attack. Good stuff. I don't know how Lingling didn't connect that. Catch the there jump out of shield. Had a forward air with his name on it. DM taking away that first stock. We were two minutes fresh into the game, Aussie, and nobody died yet. Yeah. So it's about time. There we go. But there, there's another one. Two in a row, baby. So two stocks apiece. And uh, I was talking to Lee Ling er earlier when he had to face off against DM the first time. He mentioned that he felt insanely confident against DM. So let's see if he can try to bring this back here in this set this time around. He's got to have to avoid these loops. This is the one thing he mentioned that he had to avoid was this loops. The infinite. Look out. Yeah, man. The lightning loops are so real with Pikachu. And there we go. That's going to be good damage coming up for DM again. And that's just kind of in the MO so far. He gets those... But I think they want to get off the gates here. Both these guys knowing their low percent, uh, you know, strings. Some more quick attacks coming out. DM with the answer. Back here out of shield. Just to push him off stage, throwing out that thunder just to force him to respect. That was weird for Lingling. Ling. You saw him approach that forest. He couldn't go onto that ledge, but a big punish coming out. Fantastic mash out. Yeah, that was really, really good stuff from DM. Nice call out. Up smash. You're going to jump off the ledge? Yep, I'm gonna get poked. Shift your hurt box and die, buddy. Yep. Ooh, great uh, movement, movement right there. Yeah, look at that movement. Ooh, you're gonna schmoovin. <laughs> okay, go over that forward air. Because what's good about that short hop forward air from Pikachu is not only does it apply shield pressure if they hold on the shield, if they manage to let go shield and go for a jump instead, it's good at catching the anti air as an anti air as well. There we go, go for the down throw. Ooh. Oh, thought he was gonna roll right in front of him. Leeling had the right idea. Yep, just didn't measure up the tech roll long enough. Okay, big bunny. Ops go for the forward air and set the down B. Good TI from Lingling. Ops to survive yet again. There we go. Once again with the forward air, catching the jump. Lingling refusing to say die though. Once again, taking advantage of Peach's fantastic durability. But the down smash, always sending in front of you in this game. There is no backwards angle of down smash anymore. So, in whatever direction you're facing, that's the way you go. And that way was death. That's the way you don't want to go. You're right. Hey, you got some more up airs. All right, honestly, when you go for the quick attack like that, able to get you back to say, oh! what in the world? Oh, okay, hold on. Oh. No, don't. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> he probably pulled out my eardrums, man. Moderately disappointing. I, uh, well, he got the thunder, but because it landed right into him, able to uh, survive another day. Because if he didn't go right into Pikachu, he would have been dead. Yeah, man, seriously. Down smash again, sends him flying. Gonna be good damage at the very least. 
There Does we go. Again. See ya. Doesn't even need him anymore. And Ling Ling had such a strong start that game. He had so much control, had all control on the stage. Even at the end, he was winning technically by a percentage, but yeah. you know, DM just needs that one thunder off stage to seal his fate. That's gonna be game one going to DM. That's actually an option that DM hasn't been utilizing uh, in a lot of the sets I've seen him watch, where he'll kinda hang around parallel to the stage where somebody will try to recover high, and then use the spiking cloud of the thunder to kill them. He hasn't really done that at all from what I've seen so far. Yeah. But he usually just hops to go for the thunder like way up high in the middle of the stage. He doesn't really have to use it two, up to the side. The one, one time he decides to use it, go. works out for him. So. so here we go. Jumping right back into it again. Let's see if DM can keep up this momentum. But there's the down tilt. Big oh, damage. We have a little bit of a whiff coming out from Ling Ling. DM uh, DIing away to try to avoid that follow up. Yep, still continuing to lurk right now, though. Trying to get that another down B. Oh, he was charging. I mean, Ling Ling was moving in the way that he wanted. DM was like a, just a step backwards. That would have connected. What a call out. <laughs> I mean, honestly, jab out of spot dodge, really good. Oh yeah, Pikachu's jab comes out hella fast too, so I don't blame him for doing that. And again, the high quick attack uh, is gonna buy DM a little bit of time because he gets uh, to hit Ling Ling for it. There we go. A yep, little bit off on the drag down uh, to the up smash, but Ling Ling able to get the punish anyway. Again, both guys just kind of dancing around their shields right now. They don't want to give any of the other, each other room to breathe, it looks like. There we go. Forward air off the ledge. Trying to get in with that turn up as well. Just go for the dash attack. That'll do it. That gets the job done. It works. All right, it clocked in, clocked out. Put I put in my hours. <laughs> Okay. Thunder Jolt's continuing from DM. Oh, that was a stitch face. Yeah, a lot of damage off of it, too. So I got a good drift coming from Ling Ling. You know, whenever he goes for those slow cancels and he just backs up, it's one of, like, Peach's, like, really good uh, maneuverability options. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Like, Peach just has so many options when, you know, just flying through the air. It makes everything so much easier for Thunder Jolt actually catching the Peach Bomber. He goes for the Parasol, wow. spikes him into the ceiling. And we're still alive. Yeah, again, that uh, great durability of Peach proving to be a, a, a problem for PM here. And there we go, the forward air finds respite. And albeit not too much damage on DM either. It's something that's very much uh, you know, doable for him to make up, as you can see right now. The triple up air coming out from DM. Just holds onto the shield, gives him a free shield grab. Gets the thunder, not the spike animation oh. that he was looking for. That could have been devastating. But Ling Ling going off, trying to catch that low recovery with a forward air. They're trying their best right now. Pretty much even across the board right here, but DM finally able to break zone with dash attack. And still not, again, not giving Ling Ling any room to react to anything. He's just kind of, you know, hanging around them, being in an area, forcing them to think just a little bit quicker. There we got the retreating forward airs coming out from Ling Ling. Good punish from DM, runs up there, gets the grab. Tries to get the thunder right afterwards. That's wow. what you want to do when you get that uh, vertical uh, punish, you know? Six for Ling Ling, you only got the single hit of that dash attack right there, which bought DM a little bit more time on the ledge. But yeah, still continuing to lurk. And yeah, look out, we're jumping. Ling Ling going off super deep for the forward air. Just coming up short. No punish on the Peach Bomber, and Ling Ling, great fade he, up right there. He but. literally just spammed dash attack three times in a row until it finally landed. And you know what? It works. If at first you don't succeed, try, do try again. again. And as the more Thunder Jolts, that turn up is going to eat that double jump away, but Pikachu has a fantastic recovery in the form of quick attack, so able to get back onto that ledge safe and sound. Oh, yeah. Forward air again, continues it going, doesn't want to try to overcommit too far hard there. Whoa! I mean, I get it. That would have ended the game. Forward smash. Neutral air to cover the ledge. Yeah, great use of the neutral air again to cover the rope. Oh my god. Air. <laughs> that, that's something that'll beat up E. That's you, something that'll do the trick. These are got rejected right there. Yeah. Jeez. F4. Once again, the backer out of shield. Adding on to the damage that DM already has. Could have really rough for Ling Ling right there, but again. All Ling Ling needs is that one hit. All we've seen so far is that he's really good at just finding his openings, but unfortunately for 
DM right there as he did not get PE. He the like hitbox of the Thunder. The Thunder didn't bring him into Pikachu, which would have been the killing blow. 122%, Ling Ling trying to find his way back down to the ground. DM struggling here. Get this kill. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Apply the pressure, force him, make him uncomfortable. Make him feel like he has no choice but to go for the roll. Yeah, That's man. exactly what he did. That was a fantastic read right there uh, on the roll. So now Ling Ling down 2-0 to DM. Looking to uh, you know, try to get us up on the board here. And if I were Gons, I would definitely be rooting for DM right now. Because he already got that win. Yeah, I don't think Gons wants to fight Peach. Like, I don't blame him. I think, and I also think Gons wants to win with Game & Watch. So. I mean, it'd be a story for the ages. But uh, DM still sticking with the Pikachu. Ling Ling trying to de delay this counter pick a bit, trying to like cool off a bit, let that momentum subside because he had, like, I want to say that I cannot alliterate this so much that he had a lot of confidence going into this, but this is a 2 0 deficit. He already lost to him once in winners. It's about to happen. Is a history about to repeat itself here in losers' finals? I thought it was a pick Daisy for the bad matchup, you know? Yeah. But no, we're, we're sticking with Peach. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Three, Peach rules. One, go! And so does Daisy. Everyone is a good character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch Entertainment System. Except Plant. <sighs> Who? What? I like Plant. Eh, I gotta go. Okay, quick attack on the center stage. There we go. Ling Ling just spamming the dash attacks leads him up into a big opening with that forward air. Ooh, wow. That platform actually yeah. aiding Ling Ling greatly. Didn't have to run as yeah. far to get the follow up. And it was such a smart call out from Ling Ling to go for that down tilt because Peach gets a lot of combo damage off of that move. It, it just puts the opponent in such a smart spot and they're able to just get a lot of aerials right afterwards. Yep, so a great start for Lingling, like we just stated. Let's see if he's going to be able to extend it. And there we go, the up smash, catching a neutral air. Great stuff there from Lingling. And hey, Lingling off to a dominating start already. But TM has seen this time before against this player. This is nothing but a drop in the hat for him to try to get this uh, edge guard. Up air, smack him with the tail. He's still trying to skirt around right now. Find himself an opening. I love when the DM goes that quick attack like directly down. That's an angle you don't really see a lot of Pikachu's go for. But he's his use of the quick attack has been very efficient. It's a good way for him to just like land down onto the stage and regain a double jump if for some reason he's out of resources, whether it be an air dodge or a double jump. There you go, like you said, right there. Quick attack off the platform to get back center stage. Neutral Air catches him being airborne. And DM's having a fantastic job not taking too much damage. But as I say that, it is starting to pile on. There you go. Good catch with the jump in the forward air once again. But still not enough to show a stock for it. Want to get the forward air on the platform. And Lingling just jumping away. More back airs coming out. Floating up above. Trying to find out when he can go for the up air. Because it's so ambiguous where Peach is. When you're in that magnifying glass. <laughs> Hungry for that up smash. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but I mean, uh, Ling Ling was looking for that quick attack. Yeah, that, you're right. that, that's been such a popular response from DM. Yeah, he's, he's conditioned him into doing it. There we go. Great trade right there. So, Ling Ling looking poised to maybe get on the board here. Let's see if DM can uh, close up the stock. Maybe put a dent in the lead. Might be out of steam. Bomber goes in for the jab immediately right afterwards because it didn't collide onto a shield. Trying to poke out their toes a bit with that down tilt. Ooh, there we go. A lot of dancing around shields right now. Uh, Hope these guys look poised to start off into dash attack. Sour spot of Smash, not what he's looking for. Lingling on the verge of getting a three stock. Hold on a second. Yeah, hold the phone. Nice call out. Gets the jump, gets the forward air. DM not allowing the disrespect. Right, so DM one step in, uh, you know, on the journey to maybe get it back to Grand Finals here, but Lingling Ling looking poised to take this game. Hey, you see him starting to react a little bit better to the quick attacks now. That's very important. Crawling away. <laughs> oh, Lingling Ling literally just went across the stage with dash attack. Uh-oh. Okay, would have called out jump. Goes for a second time in case DM wanted to jump out of shield. All right, doesn't get the initial... Uh, up tilt reset, but able to get a re-grab out of it. Running across the entire stage, gets the quick attack, no follow-up afterwards. Good jump. Let's get the Thunder to drag him down, but Lingling gets back to the stage safe and sound. I like that dragon with the down smash. Yep, just a little bit out of range for that air dodge to save him, but Lingling's looking for a forward air. 
the way he was jumping. Okay, good oh. catch. Platform doing a lot of mileage for DM. Again, both players just kind of skirting around. Nobody wants to overcommit, but DM blinks first. It's going to be a reset of uh, neutral for the very most. And you see DM like reaching for these forward airs again and again, but finally connects the back air. Still living. Fantastic DI coming out from DM. Yep, still surviving. And there we go. The up smash connects. Leland's been looking for that. Oh, yeah. The entire time. He would go up to the ledge, throw out the up smash, catch the ledge jump from DM. Yep. And send him home packing. All right, so that could be the first step into a reverse 3-0, or it could just be fodder. The previous set was 3-1. That's true. So we'll, we'll find out. DM looking uh, still pretty strong because he's still got, he, not only does he have one counter pick with stages, he's got another one on top of that to work with. So th this could be uh, extremely good for him. We'll just have to wait and see to see what he's going to do here. All got the bands on place. Kalos Pokemon League and Final Destination are out of there. So, of course, last Unova. time he caught the counter pick, it was Unova. He's going to be able to take this right back here. Pikachu again. The thing he got, this, is the, this is actually the game four stage that he won on against him last time. And the, what's beneficial to Pikachu on this stage is while he's recovering, he can throw that Thunder Jolt on the wall. Let that Thunder just kind of trail up above to like mm -hmm. help him cover his landing. Yeah. Get back on the ledge. We'll see it a lot today. But yep. The little intricacies of the platform yeah. and the walls are going to kind of give a little diff bit of a different look here uh, for DM. And as he switches back to the signature green headband that he usually opts to default to. Yeah. So he's sportsman. To Cynthia's team, by the way. Yeah. Fantastic song. I mean, you're, you're close to grand finals. That's likely, you know, that's like fighting the champion, right? So your fight, I, I forget who it is in Generation 4. But. Uh, like Gilbert? I don't know. <laughs> Godfrey? That's all right. Now, strong start for DM as he gets the read on that down air attempt from Ling Ling. Again, these platforms are just going to provide a little bit of a different uh, area of effect for him to kind of catch uh, Ling Ling floating in the middle of the air. He's not letting him get on that platform. Gets the trump into an up air to push him back off stage. He's got a lot of control. Opts to go center stage just to put Ling Ling on that platform, but Dean was looking for that follow up. Gets him off of him with a ledge attack. All right, get up attack. So now DM's gonna have to play that defensive game just out of range for that to work, but still gets the up smash anyway. Yeah. He tried to drag him down with the Nair into the up smash, missed his marks, so just went for a second one. Yep, that's proven to be a great kill confirm uh, for Pikachu right there. Both the drag down uh, Nair into the up smash and the up smash in general. So, really good start here for DM as he continues to uh, add on to this lead. Yeah. Oh, facing the wrong direction. DM's gonna try to capitalize with that, but Liling does a get off me with that down smash. Okay, applying a lot of shield pressure with that back air. Good response. That's right. what Liling loves to do. That's, her, that's his go to option. Jump off stage forward air. I mean, if it works, that's a kill. Oh, yeah, man. Without a doubt. Liling's been doing a really good job edge guarding in general. I love that avoid. That was so smart from DM. He avoided the, the turn up. And, but he's shot off a Thunder Jolt like a million miles away and waited for the up B so he can actually follow it up. But now he's off stage again, 142%. The projectile's yeah. going with him. I want to know where he was able to shoot that and still was able to ride the wall. That's crazy. Yeah. Just like expert snipe. No scope. 360. Red ring on, a, on an Xbox. Here we go. 154% gets the back air, sends him packing. 59% damage. Two stocks apiece. Again, with the nature of these characters, these deficits aren't really deficits. So, you know, I can keep regurgitating the same facts, but like I said, both players have been kind of looking for the same sort of openings. You see DM trying to break stone with quick attack, Ling Ling with dash attack, so. I love that cross up off of that neutral air. It gives him a free forward tilt. Backer to catch that get up. We got some more Thunder Jolts. Ling Ling trying to drift away from them. Uses the parasol to block another one. Rolls away, and DM didn't capitalize on that. Big punish off that dash attack. Not safe on shield. Ooh, okay, good catch right there with the forward air. Yeah. Get Lilling back in the blender off stage. And that's another answer that uh, forward air covers, right? Not only does it apply shield pressure and cover jump, it covers roll back if they're holding forward. Okay, 122% on DM. Good recatch on the, yep, Good recatch on the turnip at the very least. Managed to get some combo damage off of it. Things are starting to slip out of DM's hands. 
Let's try to get this kill. He's looking for the opening. Not a lot. No commitments from either player. Look at them. Yeah. I think I think uh, DM's aware of the of if okay. If I overcommit and I whiff, I'm gonna get blown to pieces for it. Yeah. But Lingling's like, if I overcommit, I'm gonna die for it. But just like that, good call it on the uh, quick attack again and gets it again. Lingling Great finally job. capitalizing on these quick attacks. Two up smashes in a row, catching both of the quick attacks, and that's exactly the type of momentum he needs to try to take home the set. And DM was not happy with that, dude. He uh, slammed his hand on the ground. What just happened? That was a misinput. DM had a grab right there off of that, but then he just like, I guess he went a forward tilt or something, ran off stage. Had a freest punish of his life, and now Lingling at 170%. Yeah, he's still not uh, getting the kill he's looking for, and I can see it on DM's face. The tilt looks like it might be setting in a little bit. He's looking a little frustrated, but you guys say calm, cool, collected. It's still doable for him. All he needs is yeah. a dash attack or something, and it's, you know, curtains for this stock. Like a back air, forward air, any air. But that's exactly what Lingling's looking for. Lingling trying to play as safe as possible because he wants to hold on to this stock forever. Oh, whiff, pivot, grab. He wanted to go farther with that one. All right. Maybe, maybe, expected like, maybe he expected like a spot dodge so he could actually go for it. Closer. He had the up smash ready to go, expecting the quick attack. Yeah, but DM took a good angle to, uh, where he was able to hit Lingling Ling and still not get hit by the, uh, the up smash. Yeah. Good DI. And to go for the, you know, holding it back to avoid the follow ups. Great parry on the Thunder Joe right there. Going to force out the quick attack with that turn up. Opposite go for the ledge. Drops down, gets hit by another oh, turn up. Mama. Comes back right below the platform. That's this face. Could have spelled curtain for DM right there. Drags him down with the neutral air. Once again, he's caught in the loop. Thunder, not going to match. 160 on DM. Uh oh. Massachusetts versus Connecticut. Oh, that was it right there, but Ling Ling missing the grab, just doing it the wrong direction. He went off so deep for that forward air, too. Jeez, man. Okay, dash tag, not gonna be able to connect. Just get him off him with your quickest option, da uh, jab. Yep. Ooh, oh, Very hungry for those grabs. They both want the grabs. Forward Ooh, smash, geez. so scary. Down smash is gonna send him flying off stage. 93%, DM going super deep for this forward air. He wants it so bad. Parasol, gonna turn the tables on him, 193%. He's bleeding. He's hurting. It's yep. blinking red. No, that dash attack is so greedy. I mean, honestly, if he would have connected that dash attack, he would have taken the set and moved on into grand finals. But because Lilian just went for the simple block, simple grab, got the back throw. Yep, as you can see right here, reverse hit of Nair, connect him right there. And yep, went for the roll and that four dash attack, yeah. you can see it on TM's face. He is. <laughs> was that like a zoom in on Pikachu's crotch no. that Devin just showed us? I didn't know. I think the I think uh, that's not safe for work. <laughs> I think Devin was trying to uh, emphasize what's happening in the player cam. <laughs> Can't get nothing past me. This disembodied voice of Devin three thousand. So yeah, needs to say DM was not happy about that, and I can see, like you know, he's like I said, he's been usually pretty stoic the entire event, but you can see it in his face right now. He was getting visibly frustrated. Mm. So, you know, it's it stinks, man. You know, you're up 2-0. Now it's into a game five situation. You don't want to be the guy that got reverse 3-0. So. Yeah, especially in the case where, like, history broke the cycle because history was on course to repeat itself. We went to game four again against them in winners. We went to ca uh, the same exact stage, except this time Lingling brought to game five. So now this is anyone set. It, you know, it, it sucks when you get a win on someone like Lingling just to lose to them again on loser's side. So you want to hold on to the momentum and try to show that it wasn't a fluke that you got that win. Yeah, so that's going to be a big thing for DM, just keeping your emotions in check. If you start playing angry, you're going to get your the brakes beat off you. As you see right there, Lily getting off to a really good start. Control and center stage. Got another neutral air. Quick attacks just to get back to center stage. They're forced out the neutral. That was a randy skull bash. What in the world? Hey, it worked. <laughs> The mix-up, man. Yeah, you don't see that too often from uh, DM. <laughs> Trying to catch the landing. Yeah, this matchup just looks like, just like a war of attrition, man. Yeah, look at that third forward air. DM's been on point with these forward airs off stage against Ling Ling. He might not be able to get the kills off them, but he racks up a ton of damage. The soft back air going to set up into the grab, and once again, only able to get control of center stage right now. And every single time DM pushes up B, Ling Ling is just throwing out up smash just in case. Yeah, it looks like he's finally found the answer to punishing that move properly. It only took him a couple games to do so, but better than ever. Oh! Punish. Hit him with the kitchen sink. 
mean, that, that was that was a frying pan. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's a tool in the kitchen. <laughs> if you hit me with a you're cooking I'd be something terrified. with it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, good up tilt right there. Ling Ling's got a lead. Tries to drag down with the forward air, gets him with the down tilt instead. There you go, good up there. That was a good answer from DM. He saw that Ling was right above him. Just want to smack him with the tail real quick. Four Thunder Jolt's coming out. You see, this is actually DM playing a little bit more safer. Look at him. This, this is the this is the call and collected DM that I know, where he likes to like try to play around the opponents. He has projectiles that it works with. The second he's off stage, Ling's trying to capitalize on it. Yeah, but the problem is you can't really play the slow and collective place when you're losing. And right. It's about to looks like he's about to lose the second stock before he can take the first one off Lindling. So the sense of urgency gets to set it eventually. And there we go. At that point, yeah. like, that's when you got to make your move. And that's a good chance for a dash attack from Pikachu because he was trying to punish him upon landing. And there we go. Lindling gets an up smash. DM on his final stock. All right, so let's see if the reverse trio can be complete or if DM can dig deep and get himself a rematch with the Greg Gonzalez. Okay, he gets the neutral airs and the more up airs. Doing a good job juggling Ling Ling right now, but Ling Ling finally able to beat his way back to the ground with down air. Neutral airs out of shield. Not gonna get too much mileage off of it. Oh, he let go of shield at the wrong time. Maybe that actually poked him with the down tilt. I mean, a low profile, so. Ooh, yeah, you see him already anticipating the, uh, the quick attacks with up smash. You can tell DM's playing a little scared, too, because when Liling rolled right into him, his response was to roll away instead of trying to go for a punish. Yep, exactly. Or apply shield pressure with a back air out of shield or something. Yeah, he's afraid of getting hit at this point. He's yeah. like, okay, I got You can't play like that. Nope. You got to play to win, play to not, yeah. not to lose. Exactly. Not to not lose, you know what I mean. Okay, still keeping us cool here. Looks like Lingling's the one that's starting to play along these platforms because he doesn't—he has no need to approach uh, DM on the, uh, the middle of the stage, honestly. Ooh. Oh, too slow with the forward smash. He had the right idea. Ooh, that could have been curtains yeah. for DM, but again, able to pick a good trajectory back to the stage. Oh, that was a greedy thunder. 115 damage off stage. Yeah, the tilt has been set in right now, man. Okay, holding shield to respect the Peach Bomber. Dash attack again, sends him flying. Goes for the thunder. He actually caught him what? with the down B. There All we right. go. DM now put himself back in this fight. Yeah, it, listen, there's a mountain to climb, but it's doable. Yeah. You got to look out for those up smashes. Good call out. Has him off stage again. Ling Ling on the verge of taking off into grand finals. Gets the turn up. Holding on the ledge a little bit too long. Struggling this disadvantage state. Gets him with the, oh my god. The tilts. Got him. Damn Damn it. That's, that, 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 that's upsetting for Dion. Yeah, there we go. And I like that at the end you saw Ling Ling start to utilize the turnips a little bit more. Uh, at least in regards to edge guarding. Mm -hmm. That wasn't really like something he was doing a lot of. Then he's like, okay, you know, I have an advantage. I might as well use these resources mm -hmm. while I still got them. So. And to hit him with the forward tilt to finish yeah, it man. off, man. Like, that's what's going to happen. And Ling Ling finally getting his revenge against DM off of the winner semi set that happened prior. Showing that he knows how to fight Pikachu, he knows the matchup, and he, I think he was honestly, he was at an emotional advantage. Yeah, exactly. Against DM, in the fi famous words of Nixie. Uh, he, 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 got, he got him, dude. He, yeah. He, 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 was, he was keeping his cool while I felt that DM was playing a little sloppy due to, like, the fear of, you know, being this close to guaranteeing yourself yep. top two of Smash Philadelphia is now going home with a third place finish, which is actually a good <laughs> placing for him. The no, slow so mo handshake, Devin, you, you mad lad. So now we're going to be jumping.